0 0.1 BFA, it's pre-patch, uh, it's right before release date. Uh, what I think about Unholy Death Knight, man, it's crazy. Doing fucking crazy AOE cleaves. It's uh, definitely going to be way more viable than what Frost was and everybody having to play Frost to do the cookie cutter uh, design. Uh, what I'm running right now is uh, Clawing Shadows, reaches all the way out, touches somebody, and it hits hard as shit. Definitely finish off a lot of people. Ebon Fever, make your uh, Violent Plague hit for 15% more damage over time in half the duration. So that's definitely what you want to have, especially the way that uh, everything's set up right now with 110. Uh, but you're supposed to be 120. Uh, asphyxiate so that you get that extra stun. Uh, Soul Reaper puts another dot on him, and when you kill the guy, you get 10% haste for 8 seconds. It's pretty good. Uh, other than that, you might want to play Harbringer of Doom if you're running Summon Gargoyle, if you're running a Gargoyle spec. Uh, Death Pack, you get an extra heal. It's pretty fucking awesome. Uh, Defile, you definitely want to play that, or maybe even Pestilence if you feel like you want to put some more uh, festering wounds on everybody that's running around. It gives them a 10% chance, but uh, I like Defile. Um, Unholy Frenzy, that's what I feel is the strongest right now versus uh, Summon Gargoyle, and I'm geared to shit on my Death Knight here. This is my main character. Um, you get 20% haste, uh, and it gives your auto attacks a chance to infect the target with Festering Wounds, so you're definitely busting Festering Wounds all over, all over, all over, all over. Um, Gladiator's Medallion, of course. Uh, Wandering Plague, it's a hell of a fucking thing. You'll see in long fights and big durations, and you're constantly redotting the whole team, you'll, that uh, Wandering Plague will actually be up there in your top, probably five or six. Uh, then you want Unholy Mutation, because a lot of people are dispelling the shit out of stuff right now, or if their heals or know what they're doing. Generally, that's what's going on. Um, and then Necronic Aura, um, it depends on how you want to play. Like if you're running Arena or maybe even like uh, BGs or RBGs, I would say um, you will only you're going to change this and run Necrotic Strike. That's going to be your go-to then. Necrotic Strike is probably the go-to um, versus uh, your Wandering Plague. You're going to change out Wandering Plague then for uh, your Necrotic Aura so that everybody is taking increased magical damage from you right now and you're, and you're stacking up everything with Necrotics. Necro, 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 Necro. Um, let's see. Other than that. Rotations, rotations, rotations. Man, fucking unholy is killing it, bro. The fucking cleave is crazy. So, uh, get your decay out. Get your dots out of them. You definitely want to fester and strike them a couple of times so that you get fucking max wounds. Apocalypse. Start summoning your pets to attack. Pop your unholy frenzy and uh, dark trance. Get everything fucking rolling out. Pop your fucking um, Soul Reaper. Watch your dots. Just keep everything up on them, dude. You don't even got to be up on your target. That's the good thing with uh, Death Knight. You don't even got to be close to the dude. You can range everything and be fighting everything way in the back and just keeping your fucking decays out and all your fucking stuff. Summoning your fucking pets to go attack different targets and stuff like that, right? Fucking it's too far away. D DK Unholy is awesome. Stack up a shit ton of Necros on your target. I mean, what more do you, what can you ask for right there, right? It is what it is. And then you have that long range stun, dude. You've got a grip. You've even got a little speed boost that doesn't slow you down from AoE effects and shit like that. The cool thing about Death and Decay is when you're in it and anything that's in there, you're also going to be hitting all of your targets with your Clawing Shadows, so it's cleaving everything. It's just going to grow and grow and grow. You're just going to stack up all your shit. And eventually it'll ride it down and cleave it. Whatever target you're going at, bust your fucking target with Necros. And that's it. Pretty fucking simple, straightforward. Make sure that you use your pet's fucking abilities. Bind them to fucking stuff. Make macros. Learn what you're doing to make macros and all that other shit. If you're new to this... If you're fucking been doing this for a long time, man, that's just what I'm running right there, and I'm telling you right now, it's fucking crazy. Uh, the only other thing that I change out right now for running around in regular battlegrounds, or even if you would do RBGs, would be uh, Unholy Blight, man. Unholy Blight does fucking, it's a 45 second cooldown, but you guys remember when we used to have this, right? 
Oh, it's back. It's just another fucking extra dot to go with all your other stuff. And, man, the more dots that you can put on the target, the fucking faster that it's just going to be rotting down and dying and dying and dying and dying. You get a decent healer on you, I'd say a good unholy DK can probably take out almost the whole fucking team by himself, cleaving it down over fucking a little bit over time. And, yeah, so, uh, with the way that everything is right now, we're all set up to be level 120, so... Being geared at uh, 232 and having all the set bonuses, having the best in slots for Unholy and all that, um, like, you're still only going to do so much because we're got a hell of a nerf right now on us. Once you can level up 10 more levels and actually hit what we are designed to be at right now, um, that's why you're seeing like hunters doing fucking crazy damage and one, one shotting people with aim shot and rogues it's able to like almost kill you in a killing spree or can kill you if they got enough fucking gear. Uh, same thing with warlocks and dots or boomies just doing fucking 1.3 million. Like uh, I have the gear on Freddy and I go and do you know near if I could if I'm up for long enough in a 10 on 10 I can do 2 million. If we're not killing them, and they have crazy fucking eels, but that's just the way that everything rolls right now. So, that's my thoughts right now for the way that Unholy's sitting for PvP. It's crazy.